Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Communist Revolutionary Simulator 6. So, in the aftermath of the last episode, where Talia... Well, honestly, putting a gun in Talia's hand and then putting her in the same room as the woman who tortured her was probably never going to end well, so I shouldn't have been too surprised. Anyway, let's see what else can go wrong this week. You're not having a heart attack. How, how do you know? We need Paolo. Paolo knows how to fix this. Paolo's in Miami by now. No, no, no. He's still here. Danny, come find me in the little mountain just west of the airport. There's a bunker, and I'll be the Mexican on top of it. Okay, okay. Just take a breath. I'm on my way. So, Talia's run off. That's... Not bad news, I mean. <laughs> and Paolo is, yeah, he should have been in Miami by now. So something's clearly gone wrong there. Looks like we're gonna have to uh, meet Lunchbox, figure out exactly what the issue is here. Clara, Maria Marquesa is dead. Yeah, it's on the news everywhere, what happened? It wasn't the plan. Fuck, I don't think there ever was a plan. We can still get some good out of this. Maria's execution must have shook Anton. I'll believe it when I see it. Talk soon, Clara. Yeah, Clara never changes. Always trying to figure out the best way to work the angles of any given situation. I suppose that's what makes her a great revolutionary. Talia, of course, as always, is the big problem because everything Talia touches turns to shit. The last time she spoke to Paolo, what she said convinced him to leave Yara without her. Or at least that was the plan. He should have been long gone by now. Bicho, you've got some explaining to do. Danny, we've got to fix this! I thought Ravio Libertad would fix everything, but everything's fucked. Talia's doing some crazy shit. I haven't slept in days. I, nothing's been right since Paolo left. My dealer swears he saw Paolo at the airport and he was with that fucker, Bembe. Danny, you can't let Paolo leave. He's the only thing that can put Talia back from the cliff, Carnala. I even tried to get Paolo, got as far as the airport gate, and then boom, soldiers everywhere. I squirted a little and I ran. You know I'm no good with soldiers, Danny. You got to get Paolo back. You got to make everything okay again. Uh. Mm. You might want to do this on the download, Danny. There's a lot of soldiers down there. Yeah, I mean, on the one hand, Paolo is a grown fucking man. He can make his own decisions. If he wants to leave, that's up to him. Plus, getting away from Talia is probably the best thing he could possibly do. On the other hand, him turning up at the airport with Bembe around, you know, the black marketeer, the human trafficker, and then suddenly a whole bunch of soldiers turning up. That's probably not a coincidence, and it's definitely not a good thing. So I did the usual check everything out from a distance before I moved in, which revealed minimal threats, which probably means they're all waiting in ambush. For me. This place is crawling with soldados. They must have been waiting for Paolo. Um, Danny? Did you not... Were you not paying attention there, Danny? An alarm. I, I just said... Minimal threats. I mean, there's a couple on the gate, an alarm panel, a sniper on the roof. It's not exactly crawling with soldados now, is it, Danny? Do try to keep up, Danny. <laughs> Come on. Don't you go all flaky on me. You're the one person I've been able to rely on so far. Although, then again, I think it's possible that even Danny is starting to show signs of wearing out. I mean, after... Clara herself said, look, these Maximus Matanzas guys are a wasted cause. You may as well pull out. And yet Danny decided, no, no, I'm going to stick around. <laughs> I can make this work. I think Danny's suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. It's starting to show. Right, anyway. Try to call back up now. The Colt 1911. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Pinpoint accurate out to 150 metres. What other weapons do I have? Maybe a big loud shotgun, even though the Spaz-12 is absolutely iconic. is not the best choice if I'm sneaking in. And I do have some suppressed sniper rifles. 
Although the idea of fitness oppressor onto a 50 caliber rifle. <laughs> oh, Ubisoft. Uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, it is what it is. And what it is isn't even remotely realistic. But yeah. If I want to take some long range shots. I mean, why really? Do I need a sniper rifle? You know what? I'm going to equip it anyway. Oh, hello. Armored Humvee. Okay. No, I don't want to be using that. Where is the... Hang on. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, I can see a use for the rifle, I suppose. The 1911 gets it done. But you really do have to be pinpoint accurate with the cursor. It's just easier to hit targets at range with a rifle. Even if the follow-up shots take longer and it doesn't have as... I mean, the 1911 doesn't exactly have a large magazine capacity. Standard ammo capacity on a 45 ACP magazine was seven rounds. Is it seven or was it eight? No, it was seven with one in the chamber. Camera. Here's the thing, if you do miss with the first shot, that's what I'm talking about here. I don't know if it's my mouse granularity or whatever, but actually getting the crosshairs on the target can sometimes be quite tricky with a 1911. So in that respect, it's not like the sniper rifles are completely easy. The scoped weapon does oh, give you a better you chance of getting that first shot on target. Here. But, oh, somebody sees the body. You know, the follow-up shots are so much easier if you don't kill them with the first shot. I can't believe I'm saying this. When you're using a Colt 1911, it ranges in excess of 50 meters. <laughs> oh, you were soft. <laughs> okay, there's still another undetected guard out there, but he or she may be inside the building. You see what I mean? It's not exactly crawling with soldiers, is it, Danny? It's not that bad. Still, the alarm hasn't gone off. Mostly because I blew out the alarm panel and disabled the cameras. And anybody outside, with the exception is the aircraft that is, I don't want to get spotted by that. I mean, I could shoot it down, but it's unnecessary aggro. Right, there's definitely a few more of them left. Let's see what's back here. You don't put a lock on something in Far Cry 6 unless there's something good on the other side. What are we doing? A couple more guards. There's definitely a few more around the corner. That helicopter. Ooh. I just know that if I don't take it out now, it's going to be used against me in the future. But taking it out now would make an awful lot of noise. Choices, choices. Oh, there's one in there. Okay. Right, that's it. I'm definitely detected now. Gunfire. Nope, don't need that. Yeah, here we go. MP7. Come on then. All together, one at a time. It's all the same to me. Although, actually, I would probably prefer one at a time. Oh, another alarm panel. Right, we'll fix that. Sweet. Right, one, possibly two more. Oh, one outside. Gotcha. That's a lot of gunfire considering I'm not actually spotted. Where is it? Oi! Stop shooting at my dog, you bastard! See that? Cruelty to animals. Don't worry, Chirito. Don't you worry about the bad man. But what is... What is that? Is... Oh my god. That's the downwash from the helicopter. <laughs> Did you see that? There's a helicopter. I told you the helicopter was going to be used against me. But um, yeah, that's the, that's the, the jet wash from the helicopter above the building. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Ubisoft. Um, <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, hang on. Get away from my dog, you fucker. 
Don't worry about the bad man, Chorizo. It's all right. Daddy's here. It's going to be fine. Yeah, fuck you. That's what you get for picking on animals. Don't you worry, Chorizo. It's good. Wait a minute. Is that Bembe? That's not Paolo. That's Bembe. What the fuck is he doing in... Oh, great. Okay, I've got a bad feeling about this. Bembe's in there under arrest. There's still another guard in here somewhere, as well as that helicopter circling the building. And there's a crate in here I haven't checked out yet, but I... Oh, hang on. Spotted. Is that the helicopter? Don't know. Might have been. But there is another guard in the building. I just... No idea where he or she is. It... Oh, there they are. Gotcha. Right. Still got the gunship hovering outside to worry about, but I figure now I'm gonna go and find out what exactly the fuck Bembe has to do with all of this and where the hell is Paolo. Locked up tight. I'll bet you it isn't. Anything was a bad idea. Hola, Rojas. I'm uh, I'm over here, Bembe. Oh, what's this? Looks like Bembe's arrangements for Paolo's flight out. Okay, that's unexpected. Bembe, you got some talking to do. I'd like to think you're here to see your dear friend Bembe. But we both know you're after Paolo. Where is he? He's supposed to be on a first-class flight to Miami right now. But you sold him out. No, no, no. This was one of life's rare surprises. Soldados were waiting for me, Rojas. So I struck a deal. So that's when you sold him out. I traded for my freedom and kickbacks. So you but sold him out? I will tell you where they took him. Paolo's in a resort in Barrial. If they've done anything to him, I'm coming for you. Promises, promises. If I were you, I'd hurry, Rojas. Paolo's not in the safest of hands. Okay, but first, that one's on me. Now, I know it's not going to kill him. I know he's going to lie there, waiting to be revived until somebody comes over to revive him. But it's not going to be me. I'm going to need the rocket launcher for this. Although, technically, it's a... Wait a minute. That's not the same helicopter. We sent another one. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, I mean, technically, this is a cargo stav recoilless rifle. So, I don't know why it's firing guided missiles. Because it's Far Cry 6. <laughs> but, uh, you know, whatever. At this point, I'm not even complaining. Oh, hang on. There's somebody else. No, no, that was the crashing helicopter that was spotted. Okay, so, fine. Right, let's get out of here. Because you can't fast travel if you're in a restricted area. Where was the hole in the fence? Oh, there it is. Right, so, to recap, the one member of Maximus Matanzas who isn't remotely interested in the revolution and just wants to get the fuck off this island has gotten arrested. Why am I wasting my time going after him? I mean, here's the thing. I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that I like Paolo, but I have a grudging amount of respect for him. I certainly don't hate him the way that I hate Talia, but I don't like him the way I like Bicho. Although, you know, he's been 100% straight and honest with me. But he's made it absolutely clear that he's got no interest in the revolution. He just wants to get the oh, yeah. fuck off Yara. And I can kind of respect that. But it does beg the question, why am I wasting my time trying to get him back? Because all he's going to do is leave. Fucking Maria. Hey, bicho. You got Paolo! You're a real Yaren hero! Shut up for a second. He's been captured. They took him to a fucking resort. A resort? What does that mean? Is Paolo okay? Is it a nice resort? Bicho, I'll call you when I have him, okay? I guess the only logical explanation for why I'm doing this, because neither I nor the revolution are going to benefit from it, is because it's what Bicho wants, and that poor bastard could use a bit of happiness with the shit he's been through, and the friends he has. So fair enough, we'll do this for Bicho. Now, as luck would have it, Better watch myself. Paolo's actually being held at the very first of the three resorts that I went to check out. And there were not an awful lot of guards here. I think this may actually be the same place where Bembe's Russian associates were being held and tortured. I don't know if you can remember that. And it 
I mean, if it was, it just didn't look as if the guards had respawned yet, because there's basically nobody here. Which is kind of strange. And actually, now that I come to think of it, there was a swimming pool in the middle of the grounds of the resort where uh, Bembe's Russian associates were being held. A swimming pool full of dead torture victims, and I don't mean a pool like that, so no, this is not the same place. Oh! So this is in fact a different resort, and judging by the muffled screams, Paolo is in Paolo! fact being held here. Paolo! And yet there are only two guards in the entire place, which is particularly surprising, especially when you see exactly who Paolo is being held by. He's not exactly an insignificant personality. We have actually seen him before, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. Paolo, I'm not leaving without you. Because here he is. Hey, Dr. Reyes, the guy who invented the Viviro treatment. Not quite as innocent of any wrongdoing as he would have us all believe. He is actually a bit of a bastard. I love these new phones. They're so thin. Ah, pain is a part of progress. Yeah, I learned that from Castillo. Look at Viviro. It would have gone nowhere if I hadn't created the outcast camps. You know, orphans like you make the best test subjects, along with the poor. Anyone on the fringe of society. That's 0.5 cc's of PG-240. What you call the poison. It's being pumped into your bloodstream. Doctor's orders. All I have to do is call. Yeah, you might want to call some more guards. Wakey, wakey, Danny. Miss me, motherfuckers? Yep, Talia did something without fucking it up. Come on, Karim, you're safe. You're with me now. So far. put something in me. Oh, God, he put something in me. Ah, there it is. <laughs> yeah, she didn't clear the exit and she put the gun down. <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> it's only ever a matter of time where Talia's concerned. Matias, need your help. Danny, I can't talk right now. I got Paolo on the way with Talia. It was El Fucking Doctor. He poisoned me. Need to get it out. Okay. You need to get to my clinic on your own. Take the road north. It's a straight shot to me. Got it, Danny? Danny? A car. Need a car. <clears throat> Won't make it if I walk. Move, Danny. You have to get to Matias. Danny, please take a moment and for science. Tell me how you feel. You're not real. By now, the PG-240 has worked its way past the blood-brain barrier. Shut up. Your neurons are firing randomly as they shut down. Your subconscious is taking over. Shut the fuck up! I have one request. Please leave your body in one piece for the autopsy. Body shot. That was 
your big American dream? That's a terrible thing. The Shortbell Body Shop has such a better ring to it. Alejo? You know what Weapano says to me? He screams, pity fuck you. I was supposed to be drowning in Yankee pussy. You weren't supposed to die. It all happened so fast. I wasn't supposed to die. Is that all you have to say to me, Tom? You left my fucking corpse on that rooftop. They were going to kill us, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're a character we met for two minutes at the beginning of the game. He was so stupid he tried to take on a tank with an empty beer bottle and got himself shot. You're dead. Good. Now fuck off. Nobody cares. I've got a doctor's appointment. I shouldn't have left her. I shouldn't have left her. It was fucking Bembe. He sold us out. Not like this. Not like this. We were supposed to die together, remember? Danny, what are you doing? Danny! Listen to me, Danny. Drop the knife. I Danny. Alright, that's kind of fucked up. Welcome back, idiot. Ostalia. You're both lucky you have the best doctor in Yara. Where's Paolo? Just outside. Said he had a war to plan. <sighs> now cut yourself open again, and I am not putting you back together. So, looks like we all got ourselves a good news, bad news situation. Good news, Paolo's back on the A-team. Bad news. It looks like Talia's probably gonna live. <laughs> Shit. Uh, oh well, you can't have everything. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. So I guess we're gonna go talk to Paolo. There he is. We got a problem. Oh fuck me! What else is new? Pichu's gone crazy. Screaming about Bembe, blaming him for what happened to you, me, and Talia. Last well, it night, was his he fault. Took off while we were sleeping. I think the idiot's gone after Bembe. Don't know how Bicho thinks he's going to track him down. Bicho always had our back, and we never. Just find the little shit, okay? We're going to war. I need to rally our people, train them. That means no one gets left behind, even Bicho. Yeah, yeah, you, you took Bicho totally for granted him and just treated him as if he was a joke. I get it. And now this is coming back to bite you in the arse. Fortunately for you, out of the three of you, I do actually give a shit about Bicho. So, we need to find him before he gets himself into serious trouble. And that will be coming up in the next episode. In the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And as always, take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.